Read them and greet people, it's Christmas Day 2019! It is, it's finally here, Christmas Day 2019. Let me get it myself in focus. There we go. Apologies for um, the, the sort of flickering we've got going here. And uh, this is due to the lighting, basically. Because I can unplug this light. And you know the flickering uh, stops, however, it's a bit too dark now, unfortunately, to see anything. And I'm actually filming this in a lower frame rate, actually. I'm filming this at 24 frames a second as opposed to 30 because uh, it helps with this flickering. It's basically due to that LED bulb, which is incredibly bright. But I'm doing this because, as you saw on my phone, I'm recording this like six minutes past midnight on the 25th of December 2019 and I'm literally been staring at my presents for the last several hours and now I finally get to open them. Uh, so yeah, where do I start? Well, let's start with the stocking, although it's not really a stocking, it's, it's a sack. Yeah, nice big sack, just like the one I've got down there. Joke. Okay, joke. Anyway, you know what? I'm not gonna look. Let's just pull things out. These are probably mostly gonna be sweets. And they are, we we'll start with some Rolos. Put them down there. Uh, box. Yeah, I thought. Oh, I thought these would be celebrations, but they're not. They're heroes. Ooh, Snicker Crisp. Okay. So yeah, basically, apologies for the slight fl flickering, but it's either have this slight flicker where you can actually see everything, or have no flicker but you can't see shit. Okay. 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 Retro classics jelly beans. Where are these from? Where are these from? Ah. Primark. I can instantly tell it's Primark because of the sticker. I don't know what they're going to taste like. Um, normally, I only go for the Gourmet Jelly Beans Company Jelly Beans because they're the nicest, but we'll see what they're like. Ah! <laughs> Some underwear. I won't dwell on that for very long. Also, apologies if I sound really nasally. Unfortunately, I am full of cold. Gee, let's, let me sit back a bit, eh? There we go, sit back a bit. Another year, another TARDIS mug. Can't have a year without a TARDIS mug, and this year is no different, as it seems. Yeah, this one's an interesting one. It's obviously from a few years ago. At least, I think. And was bought from Debenhams. Going to the sicker. Although, my mum might have got that off eBay. I don't know. I wasn't there for that. Normally, the Scotland Target surprises, generally. Uh, Smarties! Again, all Scotland's normally like typical stuff, but there'll be a few weird things in there. <laughs> Every year. Just to remind you that you're a smelly bastard, there has to be some links in there. Though I do ask for links, I do. Ah, Galaxy Minchkles, I do like Galaxy Chocolate. I'm eating my Galaxy right now. Uh. Swizzles, swizzle, sweet treats. Okay, 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 okay. More bloody links because I'm a smelly bastard. More links. Some ra randoms. Okay. This is already starting to make a mess. We haven't even gone to the actual, you know, wrapped present. Ah, Maltesers. Bought from Poundland. Only the best. Because they're still Maltesers. Oh! Oh! Jelly Babies. Would you like a Jelly Baby? 
Yeah, last year I got the... Was it last year I got the um, Licorice All Sorts? Bassett's Licorice All Sorts, one of these. And this year I've got a Jelly Baby one. Yeah, I haven't actually seen this one before. I'm already getting a sore back from leaning forward. This is... Shit. <laughs> Some uh, really horrible looking candy kings. And I just noticed on there there's a sticker that says 50% off marked price, so my mum would have paid 50 pence for them. Because, you know, that's my mum all over. If it's on sale, doesn't matter what it is, she'll fucking buy it. Vinto Candy Floss. Vin this, is, this was probably a pound. And that is not a lot of bloody candy floss for a pound, like, this... This tub, seriously, that is, what, two mouthfuls of candy floss? Well, one mouthful if you really shove it in there. Y yeah, for a quid, come on. Like, seriously, when when the pot it comes in is heavier than what's inside, you've kind of got a problem. But we'll see how that is. It might be disgusting or it might be nice. don't know. Ah, I did actually ask for these uh, cotton buds, or Johnson's baby cotton buds, whatever. I did actually ask for these, uh, you might be wondering why, and it's basically for cleaning um, my electronics, essentially. Um, basically, I've got, I also got, uh, if you saw my previous unboxing video where I got an early Christmas present that was some isoprophic alcohol. I thought these are for basically I use them in conjunction. I use them to clean uh, my cassette uh, record heads and play heads. Okay, snowy Oreos. These are basically Oreos doused in white chocolate. I'm going to um, stop this recording a second to blow my nose and so you don't have to watch it. Two minutes of blowing my nose later. Right, back on to uh, the stocking. I think I know what this is actually. Yes, uh, these were actually bought. Um, uh, yesterday. Not yesterday, well. Dis December 23rd, so Christmas Eve Eve. KP Salted Nuts. And I know they were bought then. Because I picked them out because... Um, my mum was going to get me them initially. And my dad said, oh no, 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 don't get him them. You know, he'll be, f he'll be happy enough with uh, seeing Spree's own brand of salted nuts. And as soon as I found that out, I'm like, fuck. So I wanted the proper KP ones. They were on sale anyway. They were... They, these were 250 I know a lot of that will be probably paying for the tin, but, you know. I like my salted nuts. Something metal. This is probably deodorant. In fact, I can feel it's deodorant. Yep, it's some sure for men deodorant. Yeah, it's deodorant. Again, smelly bastard. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. What I've been doing actually this evening, apart from watching the final episode of the BBC Christmas Carol, I've also been watch. I've watched all the Basil Brush Christmas specials. Every single one of them. Uh, I was going to watch The Grinch tonight, uh, after I've re finished recording this I'm probably not going to tonight, um, I will watch it tomorrow on the Blu-ray, anyway. Some assorted Lindor chocolates, I do like these and I do like having a variety of them. I think we're nearly done with this, it's got an air, uh, ooh, some socks. Yeah, uh, some Slazenger socks. Good. Ah, and I did ask for these as well. Some uh, C-cell batteries. They'll be, that's, they're going to go on my boombox. Um, and that's it. Oh, no, no. Some chocolate pennies. And two pences. Uh, where are these from? I have no idea where those are from. 
I think they're probably from Primark, I think. By the looks of that, really on the label, it looks similar. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for the skunk uh, this time. So yeah, apart from the mug, no actual strange shit in there, actually, this time around, which is good. Anyway, um, okay, I'm going to start with this one, because this one is heavy. Like, this thing, despite the size of it, is pretty heavy. Normally, I ask my mum... Now, I ask my mum every year, for birthdays and Christmas, don't bother wrapping most of me present, because, you know, I know what they are, because I'm the one who buys them. And, in fact, my parents um, owe me together uh, about 150 quid. They owe me in money um, at the minute. So, you know, I don't need you to wrap the presents, because I know what they are, but my mum you know, insists on wrapping them because she says it won't be the same even though she's not here to unwrap them. And actually, uh, I'll quickly just explain to those of you where I am at the minute because I'm not at home. I'm at my granny's house and I normally do these at my granny's house as well but she isn't here either, I'm the only one here. And the reason is my granny is currently in a care home recovering um, from basically having no bone marrow in uh, her knee joint after being in hospital for several months, is now in a care home, uh, now thankfully recovering and should be back home in January. So why am I here then? Well, quite frankly, I like the peace and quiet. Uh, yeah, my ideal Christmas is to spend it away from my family. Because, oh boy, we fucking hate each other. <laughs> uh, well, we hate spending time with each other anyway. Let's open this. I'm not, I don't know what this is. It is heavy though. Oh, I'm glad I opened this one. Okay, I can immediately see it's from Very. And it does have an address on it. And I'm going to need to grab. I should have grabbed it before, and I forgot. Ugh. Here we go. A knife. Well, this might be what I think it is. And it's bloody not like. Oh my god, did she get me one? <laughs> oh my god. Could this. Okay, now I think I know what that big box is. So this is slush puppy. Uh, slush liquid. And I think I'm gonna open this one next. So I'm thinking, what the hell is this? But I think I know what this is, unless it's that thing there. But this is about the right size for it. Um. Fucking hell, it is. It is a trap. Oh my god. The thing is though, I nearly bought myself one of these several times off Facebook. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, no, no, they always went pretty quickly. But I have wanted one of these for a while because if anyone knows me knows I bloody love slush. I wish you got me blue hair oh. I do like that on the flips. <laughs> it's a slush puppy machine. Oh my god, it's a slush puppy machine. Holy shit. Makes one litre of uh, slush slushies in minutes. Great. So load up, load up the slush maker with ice, then pour in the liquid, and then it'll make slush. Ah, oh God, I've really wanted these for a while. Yeah, but I, li I was not expecting this. My mum did mention it to his a few times, and I was just like, eh, I don't know if it's really worth the money because these things, I don't know how much she paid for this. Probably got on sale knowing her, uh, but 
These things retail for about 50 quid. And, oh, these bottles are normally like six, seven pound each. So, you know, hopefully these will, you know, make, how many slushes do they make actually? Makes up to three litres of slush. Okay, three litres, okay. Still not a lot from the way, still plenty expensive, but still. Let's, let, I'm just grabbing the next one here. Let's grab this one. I can feel it has bubble wrap on it. Ah, yes, I know what this is. Ah, yes. Oh dear, the box is a bit damaged. I don't know whether that's due to being mishandled or whatever. Still, at least it is. Bad. Ah, there we go. X A grommet, and it was exclusive to Boots. Now I've got a little story behind this one as well. But uh, while I'm telling it, you can have a look at it. So my mum actually had one of these back in the day, um, sealed in a box like this, an exhibitional box. And also this thing like cost a couple of quid, but the postage was about a tenner for this one for some reason. But um, with this, essentially, she had one of these when I was little, sealed in a box uh, on top of a uh, cyborg like the one next to me there. And uh, she, I always wanted it, but she never let me have it. She said, "No, no, no, skis up on there, skis in its box. You can have it when you're older." She always used to say to me. Well, one day, when she was cleaning up, this was years later, uh, when I was about 12 or 13, maybe 14 even, uh, sh she had a look and noticed the coat had disintegrated. And uh, she decided, and my sister literally asked for it there and then, and she just gave it to her and didn't even ask me at the time whether I wanted what she was so annoyed about, but finally, I've got my own. And I'm going to grab this box next because this I don't think is a Christmas present. This came in the post today and my mum said, oh, I don't know if it's for you or not. Well, for Christmas or not. Looking at this, I don't think it is. I think this is something I have bought for me for now, but it came on Christmas Eve anyway. Yes, it is. Okay. So these are not Christmas presents, these are things that I bought for myself, but I might as well show them off now anyway. These are the other two Five Nights at Freddy's Pizza Simulator Glow in the Dark Wave figures, which I, I was waiting for to be delivered from Zavi, and they were delivered on Christmas Eve, which is good. Because I actually saw these in Smith's, actually, uh, a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, on, on last Saturday... At the time of recording this, uh, when at Smiths, I actually saw the entire wave in there. But now, you know, I've got the last two figures from the wave, so now I can officially see, at least at the time we're recording this, I have every single Five Nights at Freddy's um, five-inch action figure. I have every single one, every single variant. The only one I don't, the only ones I don't have because they're not really varying are the Cisco location ones where they slip, they basically uh, made the boxes a little bit smaller. I didn't bother rebuying them because they were literally the same figures. The boxes were just uh, made a little bit smaller. Not even the boxes, just the cardboard bit in the back. Good job I didn't see this. Okay. Okay, so this is a surprise. Um, all I can see is the DC logo. So what did you buy me? I okay, something Okay. It's the Joker. Uh Okay, that's not shit. 
<laughs> I thought initially, oh, is it going to be a bloody bobblehead? It's not, oh. actually. It's, it's not bad. And it's actually a light. It lights up. Okay. Do you know what? I actually might use this. I actually might. It, it does look fairly nice, actually. Um, let's have a good, better look at it. Yeah, that's not... That's pretty good, that. Um, I'm hoping she didn't pay tons for it. But yeah, that's, I quite like that. Yeah, that's quite nice, actually. Well done. Well done, Mother. Uh, each year, your surprises actually get better, which is good. Because it used to be that her surprises were utter, utter dog shit. Anyhow. Yes, I know what this is. I know what this is. And those who are familiar with my other channels have seen this a thousand times before. There's the receipt for it. Though so I don't think I'll be able to take it back. It's another fourth Doctor Shadow Tardis. This is my third one. And uh, basically, in B&M, saw these for twelve ninety nine. This was back in November, I think, actually. And, um... Miss Mom said, do you want it for Christmas, then? And I went, yeah, why not? Why not have another one? Uh, for Christmas card, I do quite like the Shard of this. So, that foot, and particularly that fourth box of figure, is really nice. So, yeah. And I think I know what this one's going to be. Yeah. So... Uh, this was actually, so I actually purposely went into B&M for getting that Shard of Tardis. No, I didn't. I didn't go in, I went into B&M to get this set. The Silver Nemesis set, again. Uh, this is my third one of these, uh, basically to have an Army Builder one. And uh, basically, when I saw that, I saw the Shard of Tardis and basically that one was bought as well. But I did purposely go in there wanting... Another one of these for Christmas. So yeah, the reason I'm not going into them is I've done full reviews on them on my uh, six sec main channel. And this, oh yes, this is a controversial thing. This because every time I do a NECA figure review, no matter what it is, everybody always says it's a fake on every single one. Despite some of them actually being bought, you know, from uh, retail shops. Yeah, people still say they're fake. Yeah, they're really not though. <laughs> this one isn't. It's a Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Why the Nightmare on Elm Street 3 version? Um, basically because of the accessories that it comes with. Um, I chose this one out of them. Um, it was basically that that reason. Um, yeah. Well, I should put this down a bit actually. Okay, so we'll go over this first. The Chucky Collection, Blu-ray Collection. Now, you may be thinking, hang on, don't you have like half of these films already? Yes, I do, but this was actually bought off eBay. Um, and was actually, because the thing is, I didn't have Child's Play 1 through 3 on Blu-ray. And I wanted to get them on Blu-ray. And uh, it was actually cheaper getting this box set than buying them individually. So yeah, I'll, I might sell, I was thinking should I sell my Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky and Curse of Chucky Blu-rays. And then I thought, not really, because I'll get next to nothing for them. But anyway, this is a nice box set actually. This is nicer than the, you know, the later release, because that's a full fold out one. I do prefer this one um, overall. I guess I prefer its uh, packaging. To the later one, though I do prefer 
I do like the cover of the new one, but this one just looks a bit nicer. And it is limited edition. Um, yeah. Also on the back it says rated R, so I'm wondering was this ever actually released in the UK? Or not only America. But the Blu-rays work over here just fine. And the other thing in there was a mug and some chocolate chip munchies. Hooray! It's a box. Okay. Ah. Okay. So my mum did get me blue raspberry. Uh, he did, and she also bloody hell, got me a slush puppy uh, cup to drink my slushes out of, and it has a plastic straw. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh! I just looked at it, and look. Oh. I don't know if you can see there. It doesn't. It's not a spoon straw. That's a little bit annoying. <laughs> Actually, um, yeah, I guess put it out. There we go. It's not a spoon screw, it's just regular. That's interesting uh, that you thought with an official, you know, slush puppy product that they do that. Also, they give it a texturing on the top to make it look like slush. I've literally, like, if I show you. Look at this. I have essentially barricaded myself in right now. Yeah, so I'm a little bit trapped uh, where I am. Oh, ah. Now, this is a surprise, but I can already tell what this is going to be. So, remember last year when I got that Stanley toolkit? Here's an expansion pack. <laughs> so yeah, I basically asked uh, for some smaller screwdrivers. Uh, for and are these ones small? I don't know if these are actually smaller. That one is. So yeah, a couple of them are smaller. So yeah, basically this is an expansion on that toolkit. So I did ask for this, and I did ask. Uh, you know, I didn't ask for necessarily scangly ones. Um, I just ask, you know, get good quality ones, good quality branded ones. And obviously, you know, she knew I liked the Scangly one. So she got this. Yeah, I am very happy with this. Uh, and that Scangly toolkit is probably also the most useful Christmas present um, I have had, actually, um, from last year. So that is good because I didn't need some smaller screwdriver because. I basically had a couple where I had to alternate. Uh, let's get this one. This one's small. I just realised there's another. <laughs> there's more presents over there that I haven't brought over here. Oh, yes. Oh, oh dear. That is a box crush. No, I hope they aren't. Oh, I'm hoping these aren't bashed up. I did actually open these to try them out to make sure they worked. Because um, I did buy them off eBay, though they were brand new. I just wanted to make sure that they weren't. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, these are the Sony WIC 310s. That's a mouthful. And these are Bluetooth earphones. But what the good thing about these ones are, is they have up to 15 hours. Yes. Look on the box. I know you can't, but... There we go. Up to 15 hours of air battery life. I'm waving my hands around. So hopefully I can get back into focus. There we go. So yeah, these are Bluetooth earphones. I did briefly try them out just to make sure that they worked. And they do. I'm just going to put them actually back in my ears just to... 
Just to see. Um, well, they do block and lock a noise out. Uh, I should accept this rep now. Okay, take the wrapping off before you put them in your ears. Ah! It was simple. I just made it harder for myself because I love to torture myself. I know my friend um, BC is getting some Sony Bluetooth earphones for Christmas. And he said they were £35, which are probably these ones, actually, because these went on sale around Black Friday for £35. Um, I think they're normally uh, 50 But these were actually £25 on eBay, and they are brand new. And the good thing about these is, well, actually, you know what? No, I'll just test them out. Right, yeah. Oh, speaking of Reese, he actually uh, sent me a message. On my Facebook, literally just now. These... They actually speak these ones as well. I can actually... It actually said, uh, power on, battery 70%. Okay. Okay, so Okay, so yes, they are working. <laughs> Which is unsurprising. Uh, there we go. What's that? I dropped the bit of the packet. Which I shouldn't do because I've got uh, a warrant. Oh, it's got a warranty card on that in there. Uh, let's put them all the way back in. Yeah, it's got a warranty. And that in there as well. Excuse me. My theory is probably there's a battery in each one of these. Possibly. Um, or maybe just one of them. But if I remove the flap. Don't know whether that will. Look at that. That is. They are USB C. Yeah. They are USB C. Earphones charging via USB C, which is good. So it means that uh, basically I don't have, you know, I can carry around less cables and less charges for things. But uh, yeah, they'll be replacing my current Bluetooth earphones, which are fine. Uh, but, you know, several times they have an eight hour battery life, but several times I do uh, have to charge them while I'm out. And you might be thinking, oh, is there something defective with the battery? No, I do listen to music for a long period of time. Not only because um, I listen to music like non-stop. Really, when I'm out and about. And I am out for several hours, so, yeah. Uh, but they're good, really good. And uh, they're also Bluetooth 5 as well. So, yeah, nice little date. There is a model that is a bit like... Excuse me. Um, about 10... £10 cheaper than those, which are nearly identical. Uh, the only difference is, I think they have Bluetooth 4.1 or 4.2, um, and they have micro USB, I think. They might actually have Bluetooth 5, I don't know, but they do have micro USB, so yeah, although those ones I found on eBay are pretty much the seat with the same price, and I thought, yeah, have them for Christmas anyway. Oh, oh.
Oh, what the hell? This is something. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's fucking huge! Oh my god! It's like two tool kits in one. Is it two? Oh my, oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. How is that bloody... What is this? There's bits of paper or something in there. Look at that. <laughs> I love it, but I, I love it, but also how bloody ridiculous it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I do not have enough tools to fill this freely. Like, I'm not joking, I could probably have one tool per compartment in this. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't remember if I asked for a toolkit or not. Um, I think I did mention my mum, oh, the thing I got last year, my toolkit last year. Um, it wasn't a toolbox, it was like a tool pouch. Which was actually, it was fine. The only thing is, this thing that was just like um, a pouch. You know, you had to rub it through things, so it would have been nice to have a toolbox. I didn't mean one. This is literally like this. This is like a bloody suitcase. That that is huge. That is absolutely huge. But I, I love it all the same for how bloody mad it is. So these are from very. I don't know what these are. Oh, I know what this is. She's just wrapped it in this. Okay. A wall Dr. Sonic screwdriver. Unfortunately, the back oh, top is a bit bashed. Uh, actually, this, this, I actually... I remember picking this up, actually. Um, I got this on my birthday, actually, uh, back in October. Yeah. Um, BC and b and and I spotted this and I said, Oh, I'd like another one of these for Christmas. I do really like... Uh, the wall Dr. Sonic, and I like to get a few of them because some of them tend to get damaged over time. What's this? What, are, what is you? This is going to be a tool, isn't it? Is it going to be a tool? <laughs> I legitimately only asked for screwdrivers, but oh, this is metal. I think my mum was just so surprised about how much I loved that bloody toolkit, and I legitimately did. It was probably, to be honest, it was might have been my favourite present last year. I'm, I'm legitimately saying that. I think this year she's just gone mental with it. <laughs> oh my. God, yes, it is a Stanley screwdriver with swabble heads. The look of the back, they they clip onto bits in the back. I have one like this though, in my actual toolkit, except this one is a bit nicer because that is nice actually. Look at that, it has LEDs on it. That is legitimately, oh my god, this thing is bloody, look. It has a screw on the back to remove to actually take this thing apart, to actually even open this. That is absolutely mental. But it is mental stuff like that, which is why I love it. I'm going to have to get up, actually, um, to get the rest of the presents, which were over here. 
which uh, I didn't think of doing before for reasons. I actually forgot these were here. But, uh, I'll get the least interesting thing out. So this is this here is the infamous power bank, which made which went missing, but didn't actually go missing. My mum actually sent it to the wrong address. Rather than sending it to our home address, I actually sent it to my granny's address. Yeah. So this is a, a, a quick charging power bank from Amazon. 2,800 milliamp hours, which is literally double the capacity of the quick charging one uh, that I have. And it is USB-C. Okay, it comes in this uh, little little pouch. Although, to be honest, it doesn't stay in the pouch. I will for uh, rope. Okay, yeah, I'll probably not. I'll probably not use the pouch to be honest. Um, so this one is plastic uh, outline, but it does feel uh, very, very solid. Yeah. So this is a what is this? A charm cast. So what's good about this one is, I'll be honest, I can show you. Come on. No, all right, I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you. So it has two USB -E ports, which are both ca capable of quick charging, uh, which is good. It has a USB-C port, which is capable of quick charging, but also for charging the actual battery itself, so you can charge it um, via USB-C, which is good, so it means less cables, different cables to carry, but also um, it has a micro USB port for charging as well. So you can charge via micro USB as well, so if you only had a micro USB cable around, you can charge it using that. And on, yeah, it's hard to see actually, uh, that's the only thing has three LEDs on it. They actually show up in better on camera than they do in real life. So I can see this thing is 75% charged. And uh, I shall place it there. Actually, do we get anything else? Do we get... Oh, yes, we do. Okay, so... What's this? A thank you card for purchasing. A set, set up and customer service thing. Oh my god, a quality check pass uh, thing. And here. Wow, well, this is. The, okay, so this is obviously a USB A to mi micro USB cable for charging. Pretty small. And this one, interesting, USB C to USB C. And actually. Some of you might be surprised here. This is the first USB-C to USB-C cable I've ever had. Yeah, this is the first USB-C to USB-C cable I've legitimately ever had. But it means I can quickly test this. I can grab my phone, plug it in, and there we go. Uh, fuck. Oop. Yeah, if you can see there, but it says fast charging, which is good. Uh, you know what? For now, I'll just leave that plugged in. Actually, uh, yeah, well, yeah, you you can stay plugged in. Power bank, well done. But I did uh, get that. I think on Black Friday, actually. Anyway, these last things, the last presents, are heavy, and there's a, quite a few of them. So I'm going to warn you all now. <laughs> you know, this is a chance for you to run, run away. The rest of these presents, and I've let these go last, they're all vinyl records. So if you're not interested in vinyl records, then, or music or whatever, then you're free to go. This one was imported from America because it's not sold over here. And oh dear, that is split. Ah. 
it's actually split up both sides as you're seeing though it is just a basic sleeve it is just a regular sleeve so i can replace the sleeve in fact i've got another sleeve upstairs but yeah this is the lady gaga the fame monster picture disc um interestingly though um in the uk the fame monster was not released on its own on cd at least it hasn't had a vinyl release of any kind but on cd um it came with the fame as well, but in America it was just the eight tracks of the fame monster. I'm not sure where I'm going to put these vinyl records. Uh, yeah, we will put them there for now. But yeah, I think that was about 23, 25 pound. So next one. This is actually a new album. That came out this year, James Blunt. Yeah, I did actually listen to this once on Spotify, and the reason is is because I was wondering whether this vinyl release, which is supposedly the mint green colour, I think. Um, I was wondering, does this come with a digital download code, or not? And uh, yeah, we're literally about to find out. No, it doesn't, and that that does irritate me. That does irritate me when they don't. And this is also very thin, but oh, actually, okay, it doesn't look anything like the picture does. It's actually a translucent, um, mintish green colour, but it's not. It's more of a mint. It's a sort of a bluey mint green. But yeah, that does look nice, actually. That does look nice, especially up to the light like that and actually that pill there that pill was actually uh, a blue and burgundy version of that pill was actually the artwork on his first ever album yeah do you want my pingings on this album it's all right it's fine it's not an amazing album i don't think it's his best but it's not bad it's not as worst. Um, yeah, I, it's all right. But uh, his best, I think his best album is. Uh, oh no, I do like Moon Landing. But I do like his first album, Back to Bethlehem. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. But speaking of Mr. Blunt, the after love. Yes. <laughs> and so see, this one's a foldy out one as well. This one does feel a little bit higher quality than his latest one, actually, which is ironic. The new album. Oh, yeah, it's not new anymore. So I don't know how long they've had this stocking for. This one does come with a download code. Yeah, I don't actually need it because I got since I ordered this from Amazon, you get the MP3s anyway. But I will check that because it might be 320 uh, kilobit MP3s, whereas Amazon it's only 256. There we go, the after love. With 10 tracks, James Bond albums are normally pretty damn short. And again, Amazon have bloody damaged that in the post. Okay, that middle bit uh, does not do you any favours, mate. It looks fine on camera, but in person it's a bit... Oh, dear. So, yeah, this bit, no vinyl. It's only a single uh, vinyl. Oh, okay. Uh, so, we've got two things here. This... Which has lyrics on it, yeah. All the tracks plus the lyrics. And actually, this feels like a thicker... Yeah, this feels like more like... 180 gram, actually, it feels like, almost. This does feel and look higher quality. 
than that recent release, yeah. And also this is plastic lined as well, this previous album is much higher quality than his latest. Yeah. There we go. Also, I was incorrect in saying that James Blunt is James Blunt's uh, first few albums were never released on vinyl. They were, but they're extremely rare because they were released in a ridiculously limited edition fashion. So yeah, please re release them. This one actually was only a tenner. And you might remember my sister. <coughs> Excuse me. Got me the CD for my birthday. But this is Labyrinth. Uh, Electronic Earth. Mm, yeah. And I remember actually I was seeing for the vinyl release there was much nicer artwork on the inside that they could have used, but they only used this one. Where it looks awful lot like Pitbull. <laughs> Also, pause the recording again, I'm going to blow it up. You know, it is typical. Every single Christmas, I get ill without feel. Like, um, on December the 22nd, you know, I was, you know, um, I did have a little bit of a cold, but I was essentially fine. But December 23rd onwards, I felt worse and worse and worse and more and more ill. Yeah. Not, not feeling too bad though, though I do have a bit of a headache. But yeah, this one was only a tenner. And I've only ever, I've only seen it um, on Amazon. And I'm assuming eBay will have it as well, but no, you know, retail shops I've seen it in. But yeah, this vinyl was only a tenner, which is, quite frankly, a bargain. Because considering the CD brand new is probably, I think, is about six seven ninety nine. Ooh, you're sliding down there, are you? But yeah, this is double vinyl. Let's check there's no codes. I don't need them, but. Yeah, they did put these out, the artworks, the nice artworks on there. Like, stuff like that, I think, should be on the cover, really. That is far, far better. Now, uh, is it plastic? Like, where do you? Yes, it is. And it is plastic. Oh! Oh! It's on white vinyl. That's interesting. Because on the pictures on Amazon, it's sure to be on black vinyl. So have I accidentally gotten a one? You know, that was meant to be limited or something, but yeah, it's on white vinyl. I've never had anything on white vinyl before. Yeah, which is odd. I've had things on, you know, loads of different colours of vinyls I've got. But I've never had white vinyl before. Never had white vinyl, which is interesting. Yeah, no code. Again, since I got that one off Amazon, you get the digital copy as well. But uh, again, I've ripped the CD. There we go. Even that would be more interesting on the front cover. Again, plastic lined and look at that. It's white vinyl. Yeah, and it, I think that's a hundred, yeah, it feels like it's 180 grams. <laughs> it does feel pretty solid. Again, so unless it says on there, I will not be able to tell unless I compare it to a one that I know for a fact is 180 grams. God, if she knows. I do like coloured vinyl. Not as much as I like picture discs, but I do like coloured one. This guy's a bit more interesting. I think this is, yeah. Okay. The last vinyl, the last present. Also, I should mention how much each one of them was. So, James Blunt, 
the After Love I think was 15 quid and his new album was actually got on eBay so it was only 17 pound on eBay uh, brand new obviously now this album I had to import from Germany because it's only sold in Germany at least that's the only way I can get it and uh, it's been hovering around the 45 pound mark for quite a while but I did see it for 36 or was it 32 one of those two prices It is Savage Garden, the singles, or Savage Garden's greatest hits. Yes. I've got this upside down. I was wondering why it looked weird. There we go, Savage Garden, the singles. Hooray. I mean, they call it the singles. It's really Savage Garden, amalgamation of their two albums. Essentially, uh, so yeah, there's uh, 18 tracks, um, 17 of them are just, uh, yeah, from their previous two albums. But one of them, the last track, She, is their 1994 demo. Okay. But yeah, interestingly, this is only available in Germany. At least that's the only place I've, be I've ever seen it. Um, available on eBay through through them. Uh, even on other sites where I've seen it, you know, it always says import from Germany. It's better than importing from America because obviously it's cheaper. But yeah, uh, my favourite Savage Garden song. Where is it? There it is. Break Me, Shake Me. That is uh, my favourite Savage Garden song. But yeah, this does feel very high quality and substantial. There's sort of the a different coloured version of the artwork from their first album. Which was literally called Savage Garden. Let's have a look at the vinyls. Okay, I need to pause again and blow my nose. I find the more I talk, the longer I talk, uh, the more I need to blow my nose. Which is unfortunate, but hey, at least I'm sparing you from actually hearing me blow my nose. Because believe me, I can. my nose sounds like a trumpet. And I'm not joking. That's nice, I'm making it. And on the back, since this is a greatest hits, we get all of the different singles artwork. Hooray. This one has surprised me as well. So, it's plastic lined, good. And the pictures sh showed it on being on black vinyl, and it is. I thought for a second it wasn't when I opened it, but I, I can see now it was reflecting off something else. I thought, hey, that's weird. But now it is black vinyl, but it does feel a nice, high, qu a good, high quality press that is already getting bloody dust on it. That's nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's always more difficult putting a, a double vinyl back in. Cardboard plus cardboard equals friction. Here's the other disc. And again, let's have a look at the artwork on the back. Yay. Yeah, very nice. 
I am glad to finally have this in my uh, collection. There is no download code, although to be honest I don't need it uh, because I do have both of their albums um, on CD. Well actually, I have, the I have the first album on CD that's actually mine. Um, but their first, their second album, uh, I found my mum's original copy of it in the loft and I just ripped that. And she, I'll probably download that from somewhere. Uh, yeah, if it's any good actually I'll listen to it and see if it's any good, but yeah. The greatest hits uh, on vinyl, but uh, only available in Germany apparently, except all the text is in bloody English. Yeah. Oh, but anyway. Anyway, my uh, kitty winks. That is uh, the Christmas locks, the unwrapping or unboxing of uh, the Christmas presents for me for 2019. My back is hurting off leaning forward for so fucking long. So, you know, after I've uh, stopped recording this, I'll quickly edit the clips and that get together. Uh, and start rendering that. will probably take a while because I'm using my old laptop, which is at my granny's. It pro this video probably... It'll come out when I'm able to upload it, unfortunately. At the minute, um, I don't have any internet on my granny, so I'm going to have to wait until I go home at some point and upload it then, and even then it'll take a while since it's all in 4K. So yeah, anyway, this is... I'm going to say probably the last video of this year that's going to be on this channel. Possibly on any of my channels, I don't know. Uh, for this year, anyway. So yeah. So anyway, even though <coughs> I sincerely doubt it'll be Christmas, when this goes out, or if it does, I see, see doubt you'll be watching this on Christmas, unless you're really loving it. Uh, I wish you a nearly Christmas, one and all, and a happy new year. But anyway, after I've done all that, I'm going to have a bath, and uh, probably finish, you know, off with a Christmas wank. Then I'll probably go to sleep for a few hours, then get, then get up again. <laughs> Why do I do it at this time? Because I don't need to. It's because I literally get too excited, even though I knew what most of these things were. I just noticed this also lights up green when it's actually charging. So that's a nice thing, about 90% from 70 angst. It's 10 past 1 in the morning. Hooray. <laughs> I'm sad, isn't this? Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!